What's up guys, this is Brixelite signing in and welcome, or shall we say, no I don't, I don't even know what to say for a brand new series anymore, it's, it feels like it's been a long time, at least 20, more than 25 weeks, oh no it, wasn't, it was like literally last week when we started up, no it wasn't two weeks ago, sorry, I forgot a little pop chainsaw came out literally two weeks ago today, anyway, New game day. For me, this is actually like a day after this game came out, but for everyone else, uh, it's been out a week. Um, technically, the remake has all the reforged, as you see, it's been out for a week. This game is at least 20 years old, I believe. This was my childhood, or one of the childhood games that I played, and I got stuck on a goat. Fuck the goat. I have played five bro- There is five Broken Sword games. I have played one and got stuck on a goat. I played two and got stuck instantly as soon as I hit play. Three, I've actually managed to beat. Never played four, and I've beat five. Anyway, we're going to be starting a Broken Sword. Uh, we're going to do one episode today, of, of, of course. Or obviously, sorry. We're going to do one episode next Thursday, and then Silent Hill 2 is going to come out. So it will only be for like basically an hour of gameplay, and then we'll return after Silent Hill, but there is a, a there is a story so far feature, so I will be using that when we return for those who may be interested. And I did try a little bit of the game out to see how it ran, like everyone should do. But anyway, let's play. Uh, yes. Paris in the fall, the last months of the year and the end of the millennium. The city holds many memories for me, of cafes, of music, of love. And of death. I think it's using the original audio from the original game. Because, um, because I can't remember his name. George Dobot sounds very, very familiar. Although I don't know if it's the same voice actor that was in number five. But I feel like it's the original audio. Because it has that weirdness to it. So apparently the rumour about this game was they used AI upscaling and people wasn't happy with it but according to the behind the scenes and stuff <laughs> Dave Cummins what a guy um, apparently it was all redrawn by hand completely and then they worked from there to program the game which is absolutely phenomenal which is probably cheaper to be fair because it's a very very short list of people to create with very, very short people. I'll try and look for any inconsistencies, but the rumor is that it did use AI, and I'm going to stick with that rumor for now until proven otherwise. And the game was very cheap, as modern games go, and as Series X games go, or PS5 stuff. But the reason... The reason like, I was a bit upset with it at first... Can we not continue? Oh, there we go. So I was just unsure. This literally starts instantly. I like that. What a way to grab your attention. All of it was drawn by hand. But yeah, I was I was gonna be a bit pissed off if it was like double the price it were because of the AI room because the producer of the game or the director behind the game said we're gonna to have to use AI to do the remake because I can't afford to um, hire a full on staff to remake the game. So I'm unsure if they did. By the As by, I the name so of the font, they might have had. All I could hear was the ceaseless drone of traffic. Life went on. Yeah, that's the original voice actor. But the explosion was to change my life forever. I was always saying, I don't think they are using AI, considering the text is readable. Unless they use AI to upscale and they've changed a few things with their hand drawn, I really don't know. I have got some settings down that make the game a little easier. I can take the table. Let's investigate the table. I want to look around everywhere. I considered straightening the table, but I figured it best not to disturb the evidence. 
Oh. The table had been overturned by the explosion. Okay, every little mini detail could be important. Hence why we need to do it. I shouldn't touch anything. Should I? I contemplated crawling under the umbrella and pretending none of this had ever happened. <laughs> Thanks, George. The umbrella had protected me from the bomb blast, but it was Somehow. no use to me now. How the fuck did it protect you from the bomb blast? It's a fucking piece of... Ooh, I can pick up the newspaper. Wrapped around the lamppost was a newspaper. Can I grab it, George? The leading article referred to the visit of a Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. That was the only news story. The rest was rumor, gossip, and sensationalism. Then I noticed the writing at the foot of the page. It read Salah Eddin, 1345. I'll keep an eye on that. Okay, so... New controls. Uh, sure. Okay, press Y to see. I assumed it was Y. I was going about to press Y for my inventory. Okay. X to examine. All right. An A item to use. Use to use an item. Press A to first carry it. Move over and then press A again. Okay. I will not remember that in two weeks' time. Let's combine items. Okay. I think it's just drag. Use that one other item. Okay. Cool. Right. I forgot I can't move around properly in this game. Are you going to say the same thing about this, my good sir? I can see I've also... straightening the table. Yeah. But I figured it best not to disturb the evidence. Right. Okay. The clue I have. It was a Paris daily tabloid newspaper full of sex, scandal, and sports results. Oh, I can use this on something? Okay, so he shrugs his shoulders. He doesn't say anything unique. Did I see something twinkle down here? I thought I saw something twinkle down here. Must have been a shot of glass. Um, I could go inside the store. Oh, I can examine the store. I examined the jagged glass remaining in the window. It was broken, all right. Would some say it was a broken sword? I, you know, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go over here now. I'm just gonna go over here. Come on, George, let's leave. All right. So the Mr. Clown Man went down there. Am I allowed to go down here, or am I going to get stopped? Oh. Okay. There was nothing of interest. Thank you, George. Appreciate that, kid. Trash can? It's a cat! Run! Expect again? my nose into French trash cans. Okay. As you do. Oh my god, there's loads of things to explore. Wow. Oof. It smelled like That's someone had dumped one. a truckload of fish in a locker room on a hot summer afternoon. Thanks for the fucking description there, George. Much appreciated, kid. I examined the boxes closely. They were damp and smelly and decidedly empty. Okay. This trash? Oh? No, okay. I thought he was actually first saw something then. It's dirty as fuck. Oh? The window was protected by stout looking iron bars. Could you jammy them open? Drain pipe? I took a deep breath and prepared to climb the drain pipe. I guess the clown had an escape over the rooftops. Can we take it, I though? I decided I'd had enough of messing with that drain pipe. Yes, but it's broken now. Limp and useless. Right, okay. The only place I'm not checked is the manhole cover. And this was in the trailer. You're not to open this with a manhole thingy. You ain't shifting that, George. I tried to lift the cover with my fingers, but couldn't gain any leverage. It was a heavy cast iron cover. Okay. Let's go see if we can go inside the um, the bomb store. Can I look at this? 
Oh, I can look at the lamppost, I guess. The lamp post, but it wasn't going to <laughs> shed any light on the affair. Oh, shut up, George. <laughs> so let's see if we can go inside here. May not be able to, but we can see. Oh, it skips. Okay. Right, let's go around. Right, let's look at the dead body. Don't touch, just look. He's dead. I tried not to meet his stare as I searched the dead man's pockets. No, oh. words, no papers, no credit cards. The guy's past was a blank page. Well, I'm glad I came in here first then because I know what happens after this. The bottle seems awkwardly in good state. But I hated the taste of brandy. A mysteriously undamaged bottle of spirit stood on the bar. Yeah, that's what I mean. Mysteriously unfathomed. Are you okay, waitress? Oh, my head. Never again. How much vodka did I drink? Oh, no, don't tell me. What is your name, you Shirley? George Stobart, ma'am. Oh. American. She asked the question quite innocently, but I could sense her reserve. It was something well, that seemed to afflict all Europeans. You not like really, just French. Help. I could use a little drink. I feel sick, dizzy, and bruised. I don't even remember the party. Just Can you look around? Take it easy. You've been knocked down. You don't say. What happened? There's been an explosion. You should try not to move. Are you a doctor? No, but I used to play hospitals when I was a kid. Can you remember anything at all? No. Oh my God. I need a drink. Pour me a brandy. I need a glass. Is that straight or with ice? Just give me the bottle with a cheat on it. I guess that a little <laughs> drop won't hurt. <laughs> there you go. Ah, that's better. She knocked back the brandy as if it was water. I was glad Fuck I wasn't so up check. What about the old man? Is he dead? Yes, he is. Oh, mon dieu. I've never seen a real life corpse before. Except for grandmama. That was different. She was family. Has he gone stiff? I, I don't think, think so. so. He's only been dead a few minutes. Ooh, we can ask about the newspaper. We can ask about the man who's the mystery. Did this Sorry, that's a bit of the old incentive. I don't know. Someone has scribbled a note on it. It reads, oh. Salah Eddin, 1345. Does that mean anything to you? No, monsieur, nothing. It seems important, though. Did you know the old man? No, monsieur. I never saw him before. Never seen him before. Not Do never you remember before. what happened when the clown entered? I remember that horrible tune he played all right. It was like a funeral dirge. I'd never liked accordion music either. <laughs> all right, fair Thank enough. Here, mademoiselle. I'm going to look around for evidence. Right, okay, anything else in here that we can... What about her address code? The waitress was clearly suffering from shock. Really? She seems like she wants a fucking stiff drink. Okay, there's only one place to go. Because what I like about this is that when you're close by, it tells you what you can interact with. So, anything to say about the dead body? The sight of the dead guy's staring eyes turned my knees to jelly. Oof. We'll walk away from that, then. Right, so the dead end down there, which you need a manhole cover for. Let's go, let's go see what's down here. Hello there. Oh, okay. Please, hold it right there. Oh, don't shoot. I'm innocent. I'm an American. Can't make up your mind, huh? I demand to see the American consul. Drop your weapons and get down on the ground. Put that thing away, Sergeant. <laughs> I apologize, <laughs> Sergeant Monsieur, but I cannot permit you to leave. Am I under arrest? Ah, uh, no. I would simply like to ask you some questions. En avant, to the cafe, march. You're a witness, so you have to stay around. What a mess. This bombing is an outrage, is it not? Stop that, monsieur. 
<laughs> Stop holding your breath at once. <laughs> fucking ask a dead body to fucking stop. He may be dead. Move. <laughs> you must But I prefer to look on the bright side. Besides, I recall a case where the killer escaped by feigning death. However, in this case, the man is quite dead. Clearly, the killer knew of his presence and... How many times have I warned you about premature extrapolation? <laughs> All we know is that he is dead. It seems yes. reasonable to assume... A great Never detective seen. assumes nothing. Take McGray, for instance. But, but he, he was a fictitious character, monsieur. Why, he was no more real than Poirot or Tintin. That's different move. They were comedy Belgians. <laughs> anyway, it is unlikely that even you will learn much from talking to the dead. Examine the girl <laughs> and take her statement, if you can. All the detectives just mean you now, my good sir. I doubt if she is in a fit state for questioning, monsieur. It smells to me as if she has been drinking. As I feared. We have stumbled upon a den of iniquity, move. Leave her to me, sir. I am used to handling drunken women. I do not doubt that for one. <laughs> to business. Okay, show me your card. Oh, no. Your name, please. George, George Stobart. I'm from California. And what brings you to Paris, Monsieur Stobart? Travel. I'm touring Europe. You chose well. The city is most beautiful at this time yeah, of actually, year. Actually, it looks that beautiful outside anyway. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Apart from the bomb blasts. Were you in the vicinity of the cafe at the time of the explosion? I was outside yeah, G was sipping a cup of tea. I was lucky I wasn't killed. The inspector Very lucky. passed over my remark with no reaction. Did you see the deceased enter the cafe? I did. Yes, I did. Was What's going on with you? Alone? Uh, yeah. And yes, he did. Did he say anything to you? No, no just bumped into the waitress. In the waitress. Mm, a bit of an understatement. Did you see anyone else in the cafe? The waitress, the man, and a clown. Yeah, there was a guy dressed as a clown. He was carrying an accordion. An accordion? Yes. Bon, the picture is forming in my mind. And okay. it is not a pretty one. Go on. Is the girl all right, Moo? She'll live if she survives the hangover. She doesn't She's not hungover! She's being a clown, monsieur. That's odd, don't you think, monsieur? Who am I to believe, I wonder? Eh bien, I have heard enough. What do you mean? I am satisfied that you know nothing. You may leave. I hope this okay. little incident does not spoil the rest of your vacation. Seems like what a decent detective so far. Safety? Can't you at least give me some advice? What, what personal I safety? Stay alert and look out for suspicious character. Damn Americans. And don't cross the road until the little man shows green. Great advice. <laughs> I honestly believe you are in no danger, monsieur. Should you remember anything of importance? Please contact me. Oh, don't ever be this funny. No, oh, thank you. Thanks. That is all. You may go. Thank you. Can I have the run the controller and can just go on, on the surface? No. But what lurks inside the subconscious? If the door can only be opened. Are you serious, monsieur? I thought your interest in psychic detection was purely academic. Academic? You are about to witness a scientific breakthrough. The fuck's his deal? Can I go back in and actually like... Oh, I guess he's standing guard. Oh, it's our friend that we get to converse with. Hell yeah. Nico Kalad. Let's have a talk to you. The girl presented a confident but sullen mask to the world. An expression more suited to the face of a delinquent youth. Is she like 
a young photographer anyway, or a young journalist maybe. Nico, can you stop Excuse walking me? around please? Mademoiselle? I need to talk to you. Hi, my name's George Stobart. Oh, an American by the sound of it. Yeah, that's right. That's On different from what I know Paris. today. Some holiday, huh? You were here when the bomb went off? Sure was. I was. Sat right out front of the cafe. Did you notice a middle-aged man, maybe 60, with an hat and overcoat? I yeah, he did. believe it. She hadn't even asked how I was feeling. Yeah, he went inside just before the bomb exploded. You weren't related to him, were you? Oh, no, nothing like that. I am Nicole Collard from La Liberté. Oh, Nicole, I thought it was Nico. Uh, no, it is a newspaper. You're a reporter? I'm a freelance photojournalist. Say, you can interview me about the bombing. You know, an eyewitness account. Minutes after the outrage that shook the whole of Paris. You know, <laughs> real life drama, human interest, that kind of stuff. I'll just stick to the facts, thank you. Did you see who planted the bomb? I know it yep. sounds crazy, but he was dressed like a clown. Oh God, it's him again. Bon voyage. Okay, let's go down the list. Have you met the clown before? It's a long story. I have plenty Dem of time. I don't. <laughs> she's so rude! Yet again, she's so important to the fucking character role. I don't know if you get to play as Nicole in this game. I know you start number two playing as Nicole. And... Who was the guy <clears> who was number three, you split between them both. His name was Planter. I didn't know him, but he called me last night. He said oh? he had a story which would interest me. He asked me to meet him at the cafe. I guess I'll never know what he wanted to tell me. Uh, not unless you have Rosso's gift for psychic interrogation. Fight the clown. Why won't you tell me about this clown? Why do you want to get involved? Because he almost killed me. Isn't that reason enough? I guess so. Listen. I'll give you my phone number. Ooh. You help me with my story, and I'll let you in on what I know. And let's get yeah. one thing straight right now. This is strictly business. Okay, it's a deal. I have to go develop these pictures. I'll be on promise you. Fine, I'll... Uh, oh, I wasn't done talking to you! Fuck! I wasn't done talking to you, Nicole! Damn it! Now oh, well, there's a man down here with a neck pickaxe. Let's give a talk to him. There's a telephone there. Mr. Man. The muscular workman wore a morose expression. Like a silent warning to leave him to get on with his job. I'm still going to talk to him. Fuck that shit. I need to know information. Hi. Can you spare a few minutes? I thought you'd been arrested. No, it was a misunderstanding. When he pulled that gun, I thought that was it. Those automatics but quite a punch, you know? He made a mistake. He thought I was a terrorist. You? Huh? A terrorist? Ha! He was only doing his duty, I guess. Doing a bad job of it, though. Did you see an old guy with a briefcase? Wait, silly old coot. Do you know what he said to me? Work fascinates me, he says. I could watch it all day. Girl, wow. I could have knocked this block off. <laughs> It's a very English statement, now. Did Could you knock his block off. The old man? No. Should I have done? Was he a celebrity? No, but I guess he is now. His name was Plantar. Was? He's dead then? Yeah. That's too bad. Now I wish I hadn't called him what I did. If only I could him? turn back the clock. If only I'd been more tolerant. Regret and remorse are strange emotions. They really bring out the hammiest actors in people. <laughs> Do you see a Did clown? You see a clown come by this way? A clown? Like in a circus? Yeah, with yes. makeup and a big red nose. Huh. Those guys are funny, aren't they? Not in mm. my experience. I love the circus, especially the horses. You haven't Don't do that anymore. Question. Have you I don't seen think that animals in no circuses anymore. You think anymore? I've got time to watch everyone who passes by? Some of us have to work for a living. Okay. So now I'm the clown. Do you know anything about it? Would you like to read my newspaper? <laughs> I haven't got time to read that. Can't you see I'm busy? You could read it on your lunch break. Ten minutes is all I get. And if my boss had his way, I wouldn't get that. He'd have a drink. 
so I didn't have to stop to eat. Oh, take the newspaper and quit complaining. Bah! Look at this! Damn bleeding out liberals! Ja! Save the dolphins! Catch them and eat them, I say! All that fuss over a bunch of fish! Nah, that's more like it! Look at the size of those! Like champagne bottle corks, no? Ah, what's this? Saleh Din running in the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe! It's a racehorse? A horse? A legend! Du Cephalus Reborn, mon ami! Like a streak of lightning she is! Okay. Do me a favor, won't you? Keep an eye on my hull. I'm off to aye, aye, the money on that night. Well. Am I supposed to use the phone? Uh. Yes, can take anything out of the toolbox. I'd found just what I wanted. A tool for lifting ah. manhole covers. All of it counts. The toolbox didn't contain anything else I needed. That was just a pot look then, huh? There's nothing inside the tent except a large toolbox. Not even that large. What about the telephone? We don't need this yet though, do we? Oh. I don't think he needs to call Nicole right now, or can I? Bonjour, Kula. Oh, hi. It's George Stobart, the American at the cafe. Ah, oh, oui. Uh, you said to call if I could help. Have you any news for me? Well, I haven't had a lot of luck. You found nothing? Uh, no. Look, I'm very busy right now. Call me if you have any news, okay? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. A dear Miss <laughs> Yeah, see ya. <laughs> yeah, see ya. It's like, why the fuck did I do that? <laughs> I thought there was something else in this hole I could look at. Is he going to be back at any time or not? Because <laughs> I really don't want to wait around. The door was securely locked. Will he come back? I don't really want to wait. Oh? Okay. I'm not ready to move on just yet then. Might as well stick, stick here. Because I think I can go... Going underground. Why is he not cutting skipping the skin, scene? Hmm. Okay. See if we can find anything down here. Well, right, so to do it, I click this, use the sewer key, and use it there. How the fuck did you just put that out of his pocket? There we go. I lifted the cover to reveal what smelt like the entrance to a sewer. Oh, I think we're, I think we're gonna find a red nose down here. I think. But I'm not 100% sure. I only remember bits and pieces of this game. But I feel like this is there. Uh, might as well start somewhere small, right? Yeah, I thought so. Red nose, right there. Boom. And there's a dead rat. As I picked up the plastic ball, I realized it was intended to be worn. It's the clown's nose. It was the clown's red nose. How did he get down here, though? That's the question. Was it was down here, then? I guess. We may not be around to this series for long, because it's... Oh, a bit of tissue. Maybe to wipe off the makeup? I scooped up the sodden tissue. It was cold and greasy, like breakfast leftovers. Let me try and get to the other side if I can. 
There's a thing on the fence. He just likes to freaking shake everything, doesn't he? What is this? I took hold of the scrap of material and unsnagged it from the spike. Anything inf information-wise on it? The nose was hollow. Printed on the inside were the words La Rise du Monde, Paris. Okay, I guess we can go there. It was the soggy tissue I'd found in the sewers. Okay. It and the cloth? It was the scrap of material I'd found in the sewer. Nothing else to say, huh? Okay. Sure. Can we go up? See where the future holds. <laughs> Dude's like, what the? Hold it right there, you. You swear right. I knew you'd come back. And now I've got you. What are you talking about? You're trespassing. Come out of there. Immediately. That's what I'm trying to do. Give me your hand. Ha! You won't catch me with tricks like that. You need help after all, did you, George? Keep your distance, monsieur. Okay, okay. Now, what were you looking for? Shade characters? A clown. I was looking for a clown. Ha! Huh. Ridiculous. Do you really expect me to believe that? He planted a bomb in the cafe and blew it up. What? The cafe? Blown up? Mon Dieu. That is awful. And you say the person responsible was dressed as a clown? That's right. Yep. He blew up the cafe, escaped into the sewer, changed his clothes, and came up here. Ah, mon Dieu. And then the man I chased. Do you think that man and the clown are... Could be. And the same. Well, Very. yes, it had crossed my mind. Ah, what dude did you chase? It does not explain what you are doing down the sewer. For all I know, you are in league with him. Oh no, I'm just a tourist. <laughs> Most toys are contained with <laughs> the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, or the Pigas. The Louvre, I would love I to visit the Louvre. I my waste pipes were such an <laughs> We have got a few things to select here, but for now, I have to be going. I let you out. Oh, I need to go talk to him though. Oh God, I guess uh, I can guess I can, might be able to run back and talk to him again if I need to. Oh, it's Thanks there. Go on, be off with you. I'm able to get to go back to talk to him again, and he's going to be outside the door. Maybe I need to talk to him. Maybe able to knock on the door. No, I'm still at you. Look. I guess it comes way around. Well, anyway, though, I'm actually going to leave that there for today with this video of of um, Broken Sword. And we shall return next week with more and see if we can find any information on the Killer Clown. But as for now, though, this is Rick's Light signing out. So, let's cue the music.